Wall Street could look like a ghost town this week with a half day of trading on Tuesday and a full day off for the 4th of July on Wednesday. Investors will be anxiously waiting for Friday when the government gives us the latest report on the U.S. job market. Last week, the markets finished out the quarter with some gains. Despite erasing a 100-point rally Friday, the Dow lost about 13 points. The Nasdaq closed off five. We're making encouraging progress. That's the word from Ford. The ailing automaker says it's ahead of schedule in its 18-month-old restructuring and is making progress in stabilizing its U.S. market share. Still, Ford, which lost $12.6 billion last year, faces challenges, including the slump in the housing market and higher gas prices. Some mortgage companies are lending a helping hand as defaults on home loans continue to pile up. Lenders are scrambling to work out deals to keep homeowners from winding up out on the street. The effort to cut down on foreclosures is creating clashes between mortgage companies and investors in securities backed by bundles of home loans. Millions of Americans looking for a hot new cell phone who weren't lucky enough to get their hands on an iPhone are still in luck. Check out the Razer. Motorola has started selling the next generation of its popular cell phone in Korea ahead of its global launch scheduled for July. The Razer 2 boasts an even slimmer frame, better call quality and a larger screen than the original. That's your Money Watch. Log on to CBSNews.com for more. In New York, I'm Allison Harmelin.